in third video we discuss about the law of segregation or law of purity of gamete and law of independent assortment question may be asked on these two point explain law of segregation with suitable example for three mark or explain law of purity of gamete with suitable example for three mark third explain law of independent assortment with suitable example for three mark now next point of topic inheritance and variation is back cross and test cross see here the definition of back cross when f1 hybrid is crossed with any one of its homozygous parents dominant or recessive is called back cross there are two types of back cross one is dominant back cross and second is recessive back cross dominant back cross means when f1 hybrid is crossed with dominant parent known as dominant back cross and recessive back cross means when f1 hybrid is crossed with recessive parent is known as recessive back cross see here example of dominant back cross here parents are tall and dark genotypes of tall plant is capital t capital t and genotype of dark plant is small t small t tall plant produce gamete which contain capital t type of allele while dark plant produce gamete which contain small t type of allele during fertilization fusion of male gamete with female gamete takes place and it result into the formation of f1 generation and f1 generation shows genotype capital t and small t and it is hybrid tall plant when this hybrid tall plant is crossed with dominant parent then it is known as dominant back cross the hybrid tall plant have genotype capital t small t when homozygous dominant parent have genotype capital t capital t hybrid tall plant produce two types of gametes one containing capital t allele second containing small t allele while dominant parent produce only one type of gamete which contain capital t type of allele then in f2 generation the fusion of male gamete with female gamete takes place male gamete shows capital t and small t type of allele female gamete shows capital t and capital t type of allele when fusion of this male gamete with female gamete takes place then the result shows capital t capital t type of genotype and this plant is pure tall plant when male gamete with small t allele unite with female gamete with capital t allele the result shows capital t small t type of genotype and the plant is hybrid tall when male gamete containing capital t type of allele unite with female gamete containing allele the result shows capital t capital t type of genotype and plant is tall when male gamete with small t type of allele unite with female gamete with capital t type of allele the resultant plant shows capital t small t type of allele and the plant is tall so in this way in the up to generation of dominant back cross shows all tall plants and the ratio is 4 as to zero important points of dominant back cross when f1 hybrid is crossed with a dominant homozygous parent it is called dominant back cross this is the definition of dominant back cross all the resulting offspring will possesses the dominant character that is 100% dominant and ratio is 4 as to 0 but this does not give any idea about the genotype of the individual whether the genotype is capital t capital t or capital t small t so this dominant back cross can't be called test then second is recessive back cross when f1 hybrid is crossed with recessive homozygous parent it is called recessive back cross second all the resulting offspring will possesses the dominant character 
that is 50% dominant and 50% recessive character and ratio is 1 as to 1 which give the clue that the individual is heterozygous. Such a back cross can be called test cross. See here example of recessive back cross. These are two parents tall and dark. This is a male parent, this is a female and genotypes are tall plant have capital T capital T dot plant have small t small t gametes are tall plant produce gamete which containing capital T allele dot plant produce gamete which contain small t type of allele when fusion of this male gamete with this female gamete takes place resultant offspring shows capital T small t type of genotype and it is hybrid now recessive back cross is when this hybrid tall plant or F1 generation is crossed with recessive parent then it is known as recessive back cross. Hybrid tall plant have genotype capital T and small t while dark plant have genotype small t small t. This tall plant produce two types of gamete one containing capital T type of allele and second containing small t type of allele and dot plant produce only one type of gamete that is containing small t type of allele. In F2 generation these are male gamete, male gamete containing capital T allele and small t allele while female gamete containing small t allele. When male gamete containing capital T allele fuse with the female gamete containing small t allele the resultant was capital T small t type of genotype and this is tall plant. When male gamete containing small t allele unite with the female gamete containing small t allele the result progeny shows small t small t type of genotype and it is dark plant. When male gamete containing capital T allele unite with the female gamete containing small t allele the result progeny shows capital T small t type of genotype and this is tall plant. When male gamete containing small t type of allele unite with the female gamete containing small t type of allele the resultant progeny shows small t small t type of genotype and it is dark plant. So ratio is 1 as to 1 means tall 2 as to dark 2 means ratio is 1 as to 1. Then test cross. The cross of F1 hybrid with the homozygous recessive parent. This is important. Recessive parent is known as test cross. The so same example is here that is a tall plant is crossed with the dark plant genotype capital T capital T small t small t gametes containing capital T type of allele here gamete containing small t type of allele fusion of these two gamete takes place F1 generation shows capital T small t type of genotype and it is hybrid tall plant and in test cross when F1 generation is crossed with recessive parent then it is known as test cross. Tall plant have genotype capital T small t and here dark plant have genotype small t small t. Hybrid tall plant produce two types of gamete one containing capital T and second containing small t. Dark plant produce one type of gamete that is small t type of gamete. You have two generation shows 1 as to 1 ratio here. When this male gamete unite female gamete the result is tall plant. When this small t unite with small t the result is small t small t and it is dark plant. When this capital T unite with small t genotype is capital T small t and plant is tall. Small t unite with small t the progeny shows small t small t genotype and it is a dark plant. Now significance of test cross. It is used to test whether an individual is homozygous that is pure or heterozygous or hybrid. Second significance is test cross is easy, simple, repeatable and predictable. Then third significance test cross can be used to find out genotype of any plant with the dominant expression when it is not known whether it is homozygous or 
heterozygous for that trait. Fourth significance is test cross is also used to introduce useful recessive traits in the hybrids of self pollinated plants during rapid crop improvement programs. Fifth significance is it is a rapid method of improving a variety crop plants. Sixth significance is it proves the laws of heredity, both laws of segregation and law of independent assortment. And seventh significance is more homozygous individuals with desirable characters are obtained. Questions are first question is what is back cross? Explain with suitable example for two mark. Second question what is test cross? Explain with suitable example. Give significance of test cross for three mark. Then second example of test cross is a pea plant having violet purple flower is crossed with pea plant with white flowers. If all flowers produced are violet, we can conclude that plant is pure or homozygous. If we get violet and white flower in ratio 1 as to 1, we can conclude that plant is heterozygous. See here, this is a graphic representation of test cross. The hybridization technology mode जे प्लांट तयार होतो ते प्लांट प्युअर आहे की हायब्रिड आहे हे ओळखण्यासाठी हा टेस्ट क्रॉस अतिशय महत्त्वाचा ठरतो होमोझायगस रिसेसिव पॅरेंट बरोबर त्याचा क्रॉस घेतला जातो आता इथे हे आपल्याला पर्पल कलरचं फ्लावर असणारे प्लांट दिसते त्याचे समजा जर तो प्युअर असेल होमोझायगस असेल तर त्याचे जिनोटाइप असतील कॅपिटल आर कॅपिटल आर आणि तो जर हेटरोझायगस असेल तो त्याची जिनोटाइप असतील कॅपिटल आर आणि स्मॉल आर पण आपल्याला हे बाहेरून लक्षात येणार नाही ते ओळखण्यासाठी त्याला टेस्ट क्रॉस घ्यायला लागणार मग याचे जिनोटाइप जे आहेत कॅपिटल आर कॅपिटल आर तर हे प्लांट एकाच प्रकारचे गॅमेट तयार करेल त्याच्यामध्ये कॅपिटल आर कॅपिटल आर अलील असते हे जे पर्पल कलरचं फ्लावर आहे ते जर प्युअर असेल तर त्याचे जिनोटाइप असतील कॅपिटल आर कॅपिटल आर आणि हे प्लांट गॅमेट जे तयार करेल त्याच्यामध्ये कॅपिटल आर आणि कॅपिटल आर अलील असते आता या ठिकाणी होमोझायगस रिसेसिव्ह पॅरेंट जे आहे त्याच्यामध्ये स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर अलील असणार आहे त्यामुळे गॅमेट जे तयार होतील त्याच्यामध्ये स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर अलील येणार जर हे कॅपिटल आर या स्मॉल आर शी नाही झालं तर कॅपिटल आर स्मॉल आर जिनोटाइप दिसते हे कॅपिटल आर या स्मॉल आर सी नाईट झालं तर कॅपिटल आर स्मॉल आर जिनोटाइप दिसते हे कॅपिटल आर या स्मॉल आर सी नाईट झालं तर कॅपिटल आर स्मॉल आर जिनोटाइप दिसते हे कॅपिटल आर या स्मॉल आर सी नाईट झालं तर कॅपिटल आर स्मॉल आर दिसते म्हणजे ऑल फ्लावर्स आर व्हायलेट कलरचे हे अननोन फ्लावर जे आहे ते काय आहे होमोसायगस डॉमिनेंट आहे आता जर हे हेट्रोझायगस असतं तर काय रिझल्ट आला असतं पण हे कॅपिटल आर आणि स्मॉल आर ह्याचे जिनोटाइप्स असते आणि हे व्हायलेट कलरचं प्लांट दोन प्रकारचे गॅमेट तयार करेल हे कॅपिटल आर अलील कंटेनिंग गॅमेट आणि स्मॉल आर कंटेनिंग गॅमेट होमोझायगस रिसेसिव्हचे एकाच प्रकारचे गॅमेट असतील स्मॉल आर कंटेनिंग अलील गॅमेट जर हा कॅपिटल आर या स्मॉल आर सी नाईट झाला तर या प्लांटचे जिनोटाइप असतील कॅपिटल आर स्मॉल आर हा कॅपिटल आर या स्मॉल आर सिनाईट झाला तर जिनोटाइप असतील कॅपिटल आर स्मॉल आर हा स्मॉल आर तर या स्मॉल आर सिनाईट झाला तर जिनोटाइप असतील स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर या स्मॉल आर सिनाईट झाला तर जिनोटाइप असतील स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर मग रिझल्ट मध्ये काय दिसेल हाफ ऑफ द फ्लावर्स आर व्हायलेट अँड हाफ ऑफ द फ्लावर्स आर व्हाईट व्हाईट कॅरेक्टर कसं आला तर हे स्मॉल आर स्मॉल आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर व्हाईट कलर अँड दे एक्सप्रेस देअर कलर सो हिअर हाफ ऑफ द फ्लावर्स आर व्हायलेट अँड हाफ ऑफ द फ्लावर्स आर व्हाईट फ्रॉम दिस रिझल्ट वी कॅन कन्क्लूड दॅट अननोन फ्लावर इज हेट्रोझायगस सो दस बाय टेस्ट क्रॉस मेथड वी कॅन डिटेक्ट वेदर प्लांट इज होमोझायगस डॉमिनंट और हेट्रोझायगस The next point is deviations from Mendel's finding. Few generalizations were arrived by Mendel on the basis of his experiments of garden pea plant. 
such as single trait single gene two alleles. Then second two alleles show interaction in which one is completely dominant. And third is factors or genes for different traits present on different chromosomes as sort independent. Then next point is deviations. The Mendel ने जो experiment के लिए होते हैं त्याच्यापेक्षा वेगळे रिझल्ट प्लांट मध्ये आणि अनिमल मध्ये येऊ लागले त्यामुळे त्या वेगळ्या येणाऱ्या रिझल्टला काय म्हटलेलं आहे ते डेव्हिएशन तर पहिलं डेव्हिएशन जे आहे ते कोणतं आहे बा सिंगल ट्रेट सिंगल जीन टू ऑलिल शोइंग इंट्रॅक्शन लाईक इनकम्प्लीट डॉमिनंट म्हणजे त्याच्यामध्ये काय जर रेड फ्लॉवर आणि व्हाईट फ्लॉवर मध्ये जर क्रॉस घेतला तर एफ वन जनरेशन मध्ये रेड फ्लॉवरच तयार व्हायला पाहिजे पण इथे काय झाला पिंक कलरच फ्लॉवर तयार झालं म्हणजे हा काय झाला इनकम्प्लीट डॉमिनन्स म्हणजे त्या इंटरमिडिएट कॅरेक्टर पाहायला मिळत आहे म्हणजे पिंक फ्लॉवर अँड को डॉमिनन्स म्हणजे बोथ जीन एक्सप्रेस इक्वल इन फॉर एक्झाम्पल कोट कलर इन कॅटल आपण पुढे ते एक्झाम्पल पाहणारच आहोत देन सेकंड डेव्हिएशन इज सिंगल ट्रेड सिंगल जीन मोर दॅन टू अलिज मीन्स मल्टिपल अलिज मीन्स सिंगल जीन एक्सप्रेसेस मोर दॅन टू कॅरेक्टर फॉर एक्झाम्पल ह्युमन ब्लड ग्रुप थर्ड डिव्हिजन इज सिंगल ट्रेड मोर दॅन वन जीन पॉलिजेनिक इनहेरिटन्स म्हणजे स्किन कलर इन ह्युमन कलर मध्ये आपल्याला स्किन कलर मध्ये व्हेरिएशन पाहायला मिळत तर सिंगल ट्रेड मोर दॅन वन जीन शोईंग डिफरंट इपिस्टॅटिक इंट्रॅक्शन इपिस्टॅटिक इंट्रॅक्शन मीन्स जीन ऑफ वन लोकस अफेक्ट ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन ऑन अदर जीन ऑन अदर क्रोमोजोम समजा दोन क्रोमोजोम आहे ए क्रोमोजोम आहे आणि बी क्रोमोजोम आहे आता ए क्रोमोजोम वरती जो जीन आहे त्याला आपण स्मॉल ए म्हणूया आणि बी क्रोमोझोम वरती जो जीन आहे त्याला आपण स्मॉल बी म्हणूया आता काय ए क्रोमोझोम वरचा जो ए जीन आहे तो बी क्रोमोझोम वरच्या स्मॉल बी जीन चा फंक्शन स्टॉप करतो म्हणजे ए जीन जे प्रोटीन तयार करत ते प्रोटीन काय करत स्मॉल बी जीन वरती ऍक्ट होत आणि स्मॉल बी जीन च काम थांबत त्याला म्हणायचं इपिस्टॅटिक इंट्रॅक्शन फॉर एक्झाम्पल कोट कलर इन डॉ देन सिंगल जीन इन्फ्लुएन्सिंग मेनी ट्रेड्स नोन ऍज प्युओट्रॉपी एक्झाम्पल लॅक ऑफ पिगमेंट इन हेअर आय अँड स्किन आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय सिंगल जीन आता आपण या न्यू मेंडलिझम बद्दल डिटेल्स मध्ये माहिती घेऊया आपण जे आता मेंडल्स पेक्षा वेगळे कॅरेक्टर येणारे जे एक्सपेरिमेंट पाहायला मिळाले त्याच्याबद्दल आपण डिटेल्स माहिती घेऊया न्यू मेंडलिझम विथ द पॅसेज ऑफ टाइम नंबर ऑफ डेव्हिएशन्स वेअर ऑब्झर्व and identify from mendelian ratio that give additional information in pattern of inheritance and gene interaction which are now studied under new mendelism or new mendelian genetics first gene interaction gene interactions are of two types intragenic interaction and intergenic interaction intragenic interaction means occur between the alleles of the same gene for example incomplete dominance and co dominance multiple allele next is intergenic interaction occur between the alleles of different genes present on the same or different chromosome for example pleiotropy polygene epistatesis supplementary and complementary gene etc so first point is incomplete dominance question may be asked on this point explain incomplete dominance with suitable example for tuma in the incomplete dominance both the alleles or gene of allelomorphic pair express themselves partially and hence f2 hybrid shows intermediate expression one allele gene cannot suppress the expression of the other allele or gene completely in such case there is an intermediate expression in the f1 hybrid a well known example is the flower color of mirabilis jalapa 
If a red flowered plant is crossed with white flowered plant, then F1 offspring have pink flowers. And second example is snapdragon, Antirhina. Now, see here the details about this example of Mirabilis jalapa. Mirabilis jalapa shows red flower with genotype capital R, capital R is crossed with second Mirabilis jalapa plant with white flowers with genotype small r small r red flower plant produce gamete which contain capital r type of gene flowers produce gamete which contain small r type of genes then during fertilization fusion of male gamete with female gamete takes place it result into capital r and small r type of genotype and plant with pink flower so here the intermediate character obtained in F1 generation. Then in F2 generation, selfing of F1 generation result into the formation of one red, two pink and one white. So here these are two male gametes of F1 generation capital R and small r. Then these are two female gametes contain capital R gene and small r gene. Then Male gamete containing capital R gene unite with female gamete containing capital R gene. The resultant progeny shows capital R, capital R and the plant is with red flower. When male gamete containing small r gene unite with the female gamete containing capital R gene, the resultant offspring shows capital R, small r genotype and plant is with pink flower. When male gamete containing capital R gene and female gamete containing small r gene, the resultant of progeny shows capital R, small r genotype and the plant with pink flower. When male gamete containing small r gene unite with the female gamete containing small r gene, the resultant of spring shows small r, small r and the plant is with white flower. So here is one correction, sorry, small r, small r, the capital R, small r. The result is genotypic ratio 1 capital R, capital R as to 2 capital R, small r as to 1 small r, small r. Phenotypic ratio is 1 red as to 2 pink as to 1 white. Second B point codominance. Question may be asked on this point. Explain codominance with suitable example. See here. In codominance, both the alleles or genes of an allolomorphic pair express themselves equally in F1 hybrid. Such alleles which are able to express themselves equally independently in hybrids are called codominant alleles. Thus, in codominance, both alleles are expressed. For example, coat color in cattle. So, this is red cattle hai female and white cattle hai male. Hai. Red is genotype hai capital R, capital R, and white is genotype hai capital W, capital W. This red produces capital R type gene containing gamete while this white produce capital W gene containing gamete when fusion of these two takes place it result into the row 1 which contain capital R capital W type of genotype and this shows both character see here row 1 shows both character red as well as white and when cross allowed in F1 generation one is pure red and two are row one and one is pure white. The genotypic ratio is one as two, two as two, one. So here example coat color in cattle. There are two types of coat color in cattle. One with red coat with red color hair and other with white coat with white hair. When red cattle with genotype capital R, capital R are crossed with white cattle with genotype capital W, capital W, F1 hybrid shows capital R, capital W genotype and R rowan. Rowans have 
the mixture of red and white color here thus both the traits are expressed equally in f2 generation red with capital r capital r genotype rowan with capital r capital w type of genotype and white with capital w capital w are produced in the ratio 1s2 2s2 1 thus in codominance the genotypic and phenotypic ratios are identical then next point is multiple allele question may be asked on this point explain multiple alleles with suitable example for two mark multiple allele means more than two alternative forms or alleles of a gene in a population occupying the same locus on a chromosome or its homology are known as multiple allele or more than two alleles controlling one character or phenotype or one gene but many alleles controlling single character so first point is multiple alleles arise by mutation of the wild type of gene second a gene can mutate several times producing a series of alternative expressions then third point is different alleles in a series shows dominant recessive relation or may show codominance or incomplete dominance among themselves wild type is a dominant over all other mutant alleles for example in drosophila the size of wing from normal wings to vestigial wings is controlled by one gene vg and alleles are for normal wing vg plus nicked wings vg ni notched wing vg no strap wing vg st and vestigial wing vg ata ya tikani aplyala ekas gene pan alil vegvegle ahe ते वेगवेगळे कॅरेक्टर कंट्रोल करतात वाईल्ड अलील नॉर्मल विंग बी सी प्लस इज डॉमिनंट ओव्हर रिमेनिंग अलील इट कॅन बी कंबाइन्स विथ अदर टू टू फॉर्म डिफरंट जिनोटाइप्स इन ड्रॉसोफिला पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन विल बी बी सी प्लस बी जी प्लस मीन्स हिअर नॉर्मल विंग धीस अलील कॅन कंबाइन विथ धीस धीस अलील कॅन कंबाइन विथ धीस धीस अलील कॅन कंबाइन विथ धीस this allele can combine with this then this allele can combine with this this allele combine with this this allele combine with this then this allele combine with this this allele combine with this this allele combine with this and this allele combine with another this allele so here we can obtain 15 genotypes In the exam simple method to calculate genotype of given allele is total number of genotypes is equal to n in bracket n plus 1 upon 2 where n is equal to number of allele mata ya thikane allele kiti ahet 1 2 3 4 5 5 allele aslya mule yachi genotypes kiti hoti tar ithe 5 number lela 5 ithe 5 lela 5 adhik 1 6 सहा गुणिले पांच साहे पंचे तीस भागिले दोन म्हणजे पंधरा हे जर तुम्ही काउंट केले तर पंधरा एक बा नीट एक्झामला आपल्याला याच्यावर प्रश्न विचार जातो नंबर ऑफ अलील इज टू व्हॉट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ जिनोट टू टू प्लस वन थ्री मीन्स सिक्स डिवायडेड बाय टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो मल्टिपल अलील अराइज बाय म्युटेशन ऑफ द वाइल्ड टाइप ऑफ जीन मैं हे मल्टीपल आले कसे निर्माण होतात तर बाय म्युटेशन्स म्युटेशन मीन्स चेंज इन जेनेटिक मेकअप अ जीन कॅन म्युटेट सेव्हरल टाइम प्रोड्युसिंग अ सिरीज ऑफ अल्टरनेटिव्ह एक्सप्रेशन अनदर गुड एक्झाम्पल ऑफ मल्टीपल आले इज ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुपिंग इन ह्युमन बीइंग तुमच्या पुस्तकामध्ये हे एक्झाम्पल दिलं नाही पण आपण इथे त्याची चर्चा करूया here more than two forms of genes controlling one character or phenotype human has abo blood group system there are three alleles responsible for blood group capital i a i b i o these are three alleles gene 
is single gene. Capital I is a single gene, but alleles are three. Control blood group. I A and I B are dominant allele. Why? I O is a recessive. It is simple monohybrid cross. See here. Individual can have I A I A a A blood group that is homozygous. I A I O a blood group can be a recessive one. But heterozygous. I B I B B blood group homozygous. I B I O genotype is still the B blood group heterozygous. I A and I B genotype is still the A B blood group. And I O I O is still the O blood group. So genotypes are six and phenotypes are four. So on the surface of R B C antigen A is present. Blood group is A. When the sur on the surface of R B C B is present the blood group is b okay so father with blood group a is crossed with mother with blood group b the father ch genotype ahe r a i o and mother ch ahe i b and i o ma ithe cross getlela ahe samja he i a ani i o male produce gamete which contain i a gene and i o gene female produce two types of gamete i b and i o when i a gamete unite with i b gene containing gamete the resultant offspring shows i a i b and blood group is a b male gamete containing i o gene unite with female gamete containing i b gene the resultant offspring shows i b i o and the offspring is with b blood group male gamete containing i a gene unite with female gamete containing i o the resultant offspring shows i a i o genotype and the blood group is a then male gamete containing i o gene unite with female gamete containing i o gene the resultant offspring shows i o i o and the resultant offspring is with o blood group so percentage of blood group a b a b and o is 25 another example of multiple allele is rabbit coat color controlled by gene c and four alleles are for agouti c chinchilla c c c h himalayan c h albino c And total genotypes are 10. Then next point is pleiotropy. Question is explain pleiotropy with suitable example or two marks. When a single gene controls two or more different traits, it is called pleiotropic gene, and the phenomenon is called pleiotropic or pleiotropism. The first point is. The pleiotropic ratio is 1 as to 2 instead of 3 as to 1 because of the death of recessive homozygote. Second point is the disease sickle cell anemia is caused by gene HBS. Normal or healthy gene HBA is dominant. The carriers are heterozygote HBA HBS genotype. shows singles of mild anemia as their rbcs become sickle shape that is half moon shape only under abnormally low o2 concentration thus homozygotes with recessive gene hbs however die of total anemia thus the gene for sickle cell anemia is lethal in homozygous condition and produces sickle cell trait in heterozygous 
कैरियर टू डिफरेंट एक्सप्रेशन आर प्रोड्यूस बाय सिंगल जीन सी अर एग्जाम्पल इज अ मैरिज बिटवीन टू कैरियर विल प्रोड्यूस नॉर्मल कैरियर एंड सिकल सेल एनिमिक चिल्ड्रन इन वन एस टू टू एस टू वन रेशो सिकल सेल एनिमिक डाय लिविंग कैरियर एंड नॉर्मल इन द रेशो वन एस टू टू द हेट्रोसाइक और कैरियर कैन बी आइडेंटिफाई माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड सीयर एग्जाम्पल पेरेंट फिनोटाइप आर सिकल सेल कैरियर एंड सिकल सेल कैरियर बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल बोथ आर सिकल सेल कैरियर हेयर जीरो टाइप आर एच बी एच बी एस एच बी एच बी एस दिस एस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सिकल सेल एनिमी देन गैमेट दिस प्रोड्यूस टू टाइप ऑफ गैमेट एच बी एच बी एस दिस ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस टू टाइप ऑफ गैमेट एच बी ए एच बी देन वेन This gamete unite with PVN gamete. The resultant offspring shows HBA, HBA genotype, and this is normal because both dominant genes are present. Then, when this HBS unite with HBA, the offspring shows HBA, HBS, and this is sickle cell carrier. When this HBA unite with this HBS, the offspring shows HBA, HBS, and this is sickle cell carrier. When this HBS unite with this HBS, the resultant offspring shows HBS, HBS. So both are recessive here, and this person is sickle cell anemic and dies.